Hey, I'm Elizabeth Muller, founder of Bloom Creative Company, a Squarespace design agency. And today I wanna to show you two different ways that you can resize images. Now, if you've ever put an image block into your site and have found that it is the right size on desktop with some spacers maybe, and it is huge on mobile, I'm gonna show you how to fix that, especially when it comes to icons or different sizes of images. I wanna show you using Canva and using your desktop. So let's dive in on this screen share. Squarespace, we have opened up our Bloom test site, which we'll be building on. And now we are going to add some icons. So I'm gonna create a new page. I'm going to use a page layout as well that has a predetermined layout that I'm just going to pop my icons in. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna call it icon test page, enter. Now to edit our site, we just click edit up here. And now we have our three, let's just say services we are offering. We need to add an icon. So there are two ways that I'm gonna show you how to resize images for the page. So first we're gonna dive into Canva. Now, if you don't know Canva, it is a wonderful platform for free icons, to manipulate images, to create social media posts, presentations, I mean, anything, you could do anything in Canva. I actually make all my YouTube thumbnails in Canva, but we are going to create a design and we are going to set custom dimensions. So icon size is really important because you don't want the image being blown up on mobile. So we are going to predetermine what that icon size is. Usually 200 is good, sometimes 150 is good by 150, and these are pixels. So this will create a smaller size when we go to upload it. And I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So I'm going to do icons that are 150, create design. And then we are going to go over here to elements. And let's just, for the sake of the nature of what's going on in the world right now, let's do some coronavirus icons. So I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to make it the whole width of the page and put him right in the middle. The lines will appear to show you how to get directly in the middle. All right, perfect. He looks great. So I'm going to label this icon. Down Right here, you're gonna hit download. We wanna make that background transparent because if our background is maybe a slight gray or a color, it will show a white box around it. So we're gonna click transparent. I'm going, uh, let me back up, PNG. This is the best file type that I've had the most success with when it comes to putting images on the site. Download. So it's going to prepare, it's published, perfect, it's down here. I'm gonna go back to my site. I'm gonna click edit on this image, delete, drag and drop, process resize, and boom, there it is, perfect size. So let's hit save, let's see what it looks like. Awesome, let's see what it looks like on mobile. That's a great size, you can still see it. So that was 150 pixels. We can do it with larger pixels or smaller, so maybe let's, Download it, we'll resize this to 100, just so you can see what that looks like. That is not 100, there's 100. 100, copy and resize. And let's download that one more time, just to see what that looks like. Download. I'm gonna edit again. Hover over, delete. Now it's, now it's 100 by 100, so gives you an idea. And then if you wanna just look at on mobile, how it changes the size on mobile, there's one and there's two. So a little bit of a difference, depending on what the icon is and what size you want it to be. So now for this third one, I wanna show you what it looks like to resize it inherently within your computer. So I have a Mac. I will not be showing how it is on Windows because I don't open, own one but we're just gonna make a, let's make a larger pixel size, 500 by 500. 500. Copy and resize, we're gonna download again, download. There it is. So this is the way I'm going to resize within my computer. So if I go up to, so you don't, you can't see my the top view of my page up here, but there is an adjust size under tools. And this is where you can change the pixels as well. So if we liked that 100 zone there, we'll do that, click okay. It's gonna shrink it down. And then all you're gonna do is just 
upload it right back into your site again. So edit, delete, and then don't ever click out as it's processing and resizing because sometimes it just takes a second. And if you exit out while it's thinking, you're gonna have to start all over. I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna hit save, and there it is. I hope you got a ton of value in that video, and I hope that I was able to break it down so simply for you that you can go and do this right now. If you have any requests for any type of video walkthroughs, I am all ears. I want to be able to make content for you that helps you with maintaining your site. Now, if you are a business and you're struggling, that's what we do. We are so happy to help. You can find our email in the notes below. But other than that, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button so you get every video that we put out so you can help so I can help you make your site the best that it can be and make you more money and save you some time. So thanks for being here. Stand by for the next video.